بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم نحمده ونصلي على رسوله الكريم We greet you on this the 17th day of the month of Jamadi al-Akhirah uh, from Masjid Jamia in the city of San Fernando in the island of Trinidad in the Caribbean with assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh and we return again to the subject of Gog and Magog but this time to a prophecy of Nabi Muhammad which links Gog and Magog with the Hajj here are his words the Tuhajjanna al-Bayt the people will continue to perform the Hajj to the house of Allah and the people would continue to perform the Umrah or the visit to the house of Allah in the Kaaba even after Gog and Magog are released this will continue even after Gog and Magog are released the Hajj and the Umrah will continue. But then he went on to say, La takum sa'atu hatta la yuhajjah. That the last hour will not come until the Hajj has been abandoned. That the abandonment of the Hajj will come before the end of the world. And whenever the abandonment of the Hajj takes place, then these nutcrackers cannot deny anymore that Gog and Magog have been released. Uh, when will the Hajj be abandoned? I have right here in this hall, 20 something years ago, I lectured on this subject. And I thought at that time maybe it would be a virus. And, <laughs> and, <laughs> and they will use the virus as an excuse for suspending the Hajj. And uh, after the Hajj is suspended for a few years, it will be abandoned. I am not withdrawing that possibility. That's still here. <laughs> but now I'm thinking of something else. That if Israel continues with this like a mad dog, like a mad dog, continues to the genocide of the Palestinian people in Gaza, which is what they're moving to. Not even a Security Council resolution will stop Israel. Israel, Israel says, we are ruling the world today, not you anymore. That's what Israel is saying. <laughs> Of course, Israel is not yet ruling the world. That will come after the great war, I believe. But Allah knows best. So what is going to be the consequences if the genocide of the people of Gaza were to continue? And uh, the, the Gaza is destroyed completely and hundreds of thousands of people dying. Well, my talk today is being delivered in the month of Jumadi al Akhira. And there are less than six months left before the Hajj. So I ask you because Allah will take me away one day and you're the ones who are going to be remain and you have to think. I hope I leave behind me thinkers, mufakkirun. I'll be proud of you when you're thinkers. So you must anticipate what will be the consequences for Saudi Arabia, which has consistently betrayed the Ummah? 25 years ago, I said that Saudi Arabia is the sister of Israel. I was wrong. I was wrong. <laughs> 25 years ago, they were only cousins. Now they are sisters. <laughs> yes. Yes. And... Uh, one of the reasons why the Islamic resistance had to launch this attack that they did in October. 
They did it to prevent Saudi Arabia for making a deal with Israel to give recognition to Israel. That's why they did it. And they succeeded. Because the Saudis were traitors. Traitors betraying the, 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 the whole of Islam. That's what they are. From there won the Saudi regime with black except Malik Faisal, Rahimahullah, except King Faisal. We pray for Allah's mercy on his soul. For the rest, the rest were traitors. And now you have this uh, Muhammad bin Salman who is putting aside everything to say, I'm in charge now and I've refashioned Saudi Arabia to be really Salman Arabia. <laughs> It's no longer Saudi Arabia now. It is the kingdom of Salman Arabia now. Hmm? So this is going to create a problem. If Netanyahu continues with his slaughter in Gaza, what's going to happen when the Hajj takes place? The answer is, there is a possibility. I hope I'm wrong. There is a possibility, if there is massacre, if there is slaughter, astonishing slaughter of the people of Gaza, that the Saudis are going to become so scared, terrified of the anger in the world of Islam against them, that they can suspend the Hajj. If they suspend the Hajj, and if it then keep on being suspended year after year and the great war takes place then I say to you my students who are thinking not the sheep and the cattle and the goats and camels forget them that then the Hajj will be abandoned this could be an explanation of the Hadith but when the Hajj is abandoned then you can no longer say Gog and Magog have not been released we pray that the scholar of Islam might wake up and recognize that Gog and Magog have been released. And there are those who control power in modern Western civilization and those who control power in Israel before it is too late. Thank you. Wassalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh.